hey guys welcome to my channel so for today we're going to be making this delicious tasty mild watering flavorful spicy goat meat you guys just look at that and the most important thing about this goat meat is it's not going to have that goat meat smell because you know a lot of people love eating goat meat but they hate the smell so guess what we're about to cook goat meat without the goat meat smell anyways let's jump straight into the video Okay guys, once I've put all the ingredients inside the goat meat, I'm just going to use my fingers and really really press those spices inside. You know, because we want our goat meat to be very tasty and juicy. And this is what it looks like after like mixing everything. Just look at that. You know it's going to be good. And then we're going to be cooking it on low heat for 30 minutes. We're not going to be adding any water because later on the goat meat is going to produce its own water. And this is what it's looking like after cooking for about 15 minutes. As you can see the goat meat has already produced its own water which is good and that is why we didn't add any water but we're going to let that cook more again and this is what it's looking like after 30 minutes as you can see the goat meat has soaked up all that water that means it's going to be so juicy and tasty anyways i'm going to be transferring it into an oven pan and this is just what it looks like after transferring into that pan look at that Ooh juicy already and then we're going to be putting it into the oven you guys you have to do this because this is what stops the goat meat from having that goat meat smell so do not skip this step okay so once the goat meat is baking we're going to be working on our sauce i already have some oil in a pan and i added some onions into it remember we had one onions i used half to season the goat and this is the other half that i'm frying and also remember our minced ginger and garlic i used half to season the goat and this is the other half and this is also my bell pepper the green and red bell pepper i just blended it without any water you don't need water for it and this is what it's looking like so far i'm just frying it you guys just look at that color it's so vibe oh, it's, oh, I can't even talk it's looking so good already just imagine how good this goat meat would taste so anyways once my sauce has dried down as you're seeing right now I'm going to be adding my goat meat you guys I'm going for a soya like goat meat texture meaning I don't want it to be wet so I'm going to be adding my goat meat now. If you're going for a more soupy goat meat kind of texture, then you should have added your um, goat meat into the sauce once you added the bell peppers into the pan as well. That way when it gets ready, it'll be more soupy, more soup like that way you can eat it with rice and other things that need like a soupy kind of texture thing. Anyways, this is what it's looking like so far. You guys just look at this look at this goat meat i know that you're salivating right now because me who even made this goat meat i was salivating so why are you not salivating <laughs> anyways i'm going to cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes on low heat i'm constantly opening and checking covering constantly opening and checking covering and the reason why i'm doing this is because i just want this goat meat to just really really soak up those juices even more you guys i want this goat meat to be so tasty that whoever tasted will be like, chai, now who cook the good meat? I want to chop now the good meat for the rest of my life. You guys, that's why I keep doing these things step by step. Just take it slow. Don't rush it. This is what it's looking like after the 10 minutes. So I'm just going to be adding some chopped onions and also the remainder of the basil leaves and also the celery leaves. Then I'm just going to be stirring everything together, you know, just mixing, making, just adding that extra flavor into it. Because adding these things at the end is just going to make their flavors pop even more, which we need okay and this is what it's looking like once it's ready you guys just look at that you can tell that this goat meat is juicy it's moist it's delicious you can see all the colors you can see all the flavors you know it's going to taste so so good you guys any mouth that says this goat meat will just be doing wow 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 <laughs> 
anyways you guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you liked it make sure you like comment share and subscribe and also check out my instagram page steph's kitchen because that's where i post all my pictures